This man here shows the importance of having a prenup in the modern dating world, which helps either to protect his assets or show the true nature of his relationship. Let's see what does it do here. Me and her together, uh, we've been together for like a year or two, but I proposed to her, and during that time, you know, we plan to get married in Houston. I take care of a lot of people. I'm never letting one woman control of all the hard work I've done in my life. None of these motherfuckers was in the gym with me, right? So if I, I always told myself, whoever I'm married to, they signing the prenup off top. I'm not, it's not even a second guess. So me and I had to talk about it. So it's, we get the prenup back at least three, four months before the wedding, right? I give it to her. Granted, when I give it to her, she shouldn't be surprised by it because me and her sat down and agreed up on the prenup. A month passed, like two months before the wedding, I'm like, yo, look. We need to get that prenup signed so we can go ahead, you know, send it in and get it, get it, you know, get all that taken care of. So when we get down to the Houston, we ain't got to worry about it. I tell her that like two or three times. It's a month. It was, that was two months before the wedding. It's a month before the wedding. She's like, I'm going to sign it. 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 I'm like, cool. You can sign it. But look, during that time, we making arrangements for the wedding, right? Because, you know, you still got to plan shit. So, you know, I love her. And I'm going to keep it real with you. I was in love with her. And we was building a family. So I'm like, okay, cool. I ain't going to make no big deal. I, 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 I went with planning a wedding. I didn't stop. I kept planning a wedding. So as we planned for the wedding, she from New York. I'm from Texas. I'm from Port Arthur, which is an hour from Houston where we get married. I want my pastor to do it. He right there. It'll save us some money. Da, 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 da. She is adamant about this certain pastor doing the thing, right? Some other girl brought the pastor name to her attention. She, this ain't this a pastor she's never seen. So I'm like, cool. It's, it's, it's her wedding. I ain't got no problem. Keep in mind, remember this pastor, right? I spent about 400000 on the wedding, y'all. About four hundred k, right? Now we had two weeks before the wedding. Everything planned. We ready to go. I'm like, look, bro. Why I got to keep asking you about this prenup, bro? It ain't like you don't know what's on it. Like... What motives? This is what I told her. What you up to? What motives you on? I ain't on nothing. I just ain't had time to sign up planning a wedding. Office. I'm like, man. What she was really doing was trying to delay the signing of that prenup. Or if she could, she would have not signed it at all. But it is the guy who keeps reminding him about signing it. The same guy who is spending $400,000 on this wedding and she can't even sign a piece of paper. I really hope he does not marry her. Man, listen, man. All you gotta do is sign it. This the day of the wedding. Wake up that morning, we I'm getting dressed. In the back of my mind, you know what I'm saying? I'm all thinking about this damn prenup, right? That's all I'm thinking about. This is why, this is why Steph Marbury and Mike Bibby, my brothers, all right, for life. We in the back, we walk to the back room, and the uh the priest come in, the preacher come in with his, with his with his uh other with his assistant, I guess. And then my nanny come back in there with a with a with a like a with a spook look on her face, like. She still like she she pulled me to the side and she like she still ain't signed it. Oh, I ain't no, nah, I ain't getting married. Steph was like, she ain't signed a prenup. What the f what we even here for? I'm like, yeah, dog, I ain't doing it. The preacher steps up. He's like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He say, now, now hold on. Don't now nah, I know you love this girl. Don't make a drastic decision. I think you should just let God handle it. And that's why she wanted to have her preacher on the wedding instead of his. So this preacher could influence his decision making. And what drastic decision is he making? He asked her to sign a prenup months ago. She did not sign it. So he isn't going to marry her. Simple. I say, huh? I think you should just let God handle it. Me, as a, as a pastor, I don't believe in prenups. Nah, I know why she was fighting for you. You don't believe in prenups. Now it all makes sense. I ain't getting married. Damn what you believe in. I put everything in God's hand. And God is telling me to put the pen in her hand and make her sign this goddamn prenup. That's what God telling me. So God telling me and you two different things, partner. As that's going on, Steph Marbury grows crazy. Hell no. Nah. No, we ain't doing it. Hell, no, it ain't going on. Steph go crazy. Mike Bibby walks, are you serious, Steve? Out of here. Everybody, no, 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 no. Bruh, this preacher has the nerves to sit there for about five or ten minutes and try to convince me that God told that he don't believe in prenups, so I shouldn't believe in him. 
Listen, bro, we ain't in the same tax bracket, first of all. I bet this preacher was on her payroll. That's why he is putting so much effort into convincing him to forget about a prenup. Also, what if he does not believe in prenups? It's his decision whether he wants to marry with a prenup or without one. And the tax bracket thing he just said was absolutely true and brutal at the same time. Wait, wedding off! When everybody's trying to figure out what's going on, we all get back to my room, I break down crying, dog. Honest to God truth, I can't lie, because I was hurt. Because I was ready to, I wanted to marry her, bro. This is the honest and God truth. I break down crying, dog, for about a good 20, 30 minutes. Mike Bibby mom walk up to me, dog, and it's bringing tears to my eyes today. She walk up to me. She grab her bare hand. Mike Bibby's mom wiped the snot and all this from my face, everything from my face. And she picked my chin up and she said, you became a man today. Nigga. As I'm wiping my tears and stuff off, you know what I'm saying, getting ready to go downstairs and party, her, uh, uh, somebody from her side comes to my room and say, hey, Steve, hey, hold on, just calm down. She want to talk to you. All right, I go talk to her. So look, I get in the room. She's still in her wedding dress, and she crying, and shit, right? So soon as I walk in the room, she hard down crying. I'll sign it. I'll sign it. Da -da -da -da, I'll sign it. I'm... I'm whatever, whatever. I'll sign it. I'll sign it. Listen, I was born at night, but not last night. One thing I know, anytime somebody signs anything where they crying under any type of stress or any real emotional or something like that, that shit can get thrown out. Remember at the start of the video, I said a prenup either protects your financial assets or exposes the true nature of your relationship. And here it is. She just proved herself that she was only after this man's money. That's why she is ready to sign the prenup a minute before the wedding, but was avoiding it for the past three, four months. Her plan was to delay the prenup talk and then use the duress card to throw that prenup away when she eventually decides to divorce him. Remember I told you Steph was turned up. I'm talking about dog. This nigga Steph on my bear is crazy, dog. Soon as we get to downstairs. He already in the DJ booth. As people walk in, guess what's the first song they play? She gives me money when I'm in need. Yeah, she's a trifling friend indeed. Oh, yeah, she's a gold digger. Way over time. That's good to me. Oh, dog. You know, I'm going to keep it all 1,000, child. After we had party at the hotel, me and all my partners getting ready to go out that night. Two of her main squeezes that was there with her was with us that night. And I'm going to keep it funky. I downed one of them.